In agricultural news from agu.net, with the hot land market right now, it's extremely important for those who want to sell a farm to be sure that they expose it to the whole marketplace, use some sort some of a competitive bidding process so that potential buyers can establish the high bid. Knowing the local land market, critical to deciding what competitive bidding process to use. Determining factors when looking at the local land market include the type and quality of land for sale, customs of local land buyers, and expectations of the seller. The sales process that works in one area may not in another, so it's essential to know the market and land. One traditional method for competitive bidding is the public outcry auction, which is a common way to sell farmland in the heart of the Corn Belt. Now, today, it's beneficial to do a simulcast auction, which broadcasts to the live auction and online viewers and registered online bidders who can place bids electronically right along with the in-person crowd. Bids from both online and in-person bidders are posted on a screen for all to see. That makes the process fully transparent. The advantage of having online bidding along with live auction is what gives the opportunity for interested buyers who cannot attend the live auction. It also fosters competitive bidding in that whole process. Other competitive bidding sales methods include online timed auction, like those you see on eBay. Written bid sales are common ways in some regions to foster a competition among potential buyers. And there are variations of bid sales that can be utilized depending on the market and the land that's being sold. An additional benefit to the seller using a competitive bidding process to sell their land is that they control most of the terms as these have been set and advertised to the public from the start. Now, in the current land market, where there are more buyers than sellers of farmland, it's wise to consider some form of competitive bidding to market and sell farms. That according to Randy Dickhut with Farmers National Company. It's important, he says, to have a trusted advisor and broker who can offer the full complement of sales tools tailored to the land and the market in order to get the best price for the seller. Well, in 2020, the federal government provided assistance to farm operations that experienced losses because of COVID-19. The aid came in the form of loans for the Paycheck Protection Program and payments from a couple of iterations of the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program, CPAP-1 and CPAP-2. PPP was administered by the U.S. Small Business Administration. It provided loans to small businesses to help them keep their workers employed during the pandemic. CFAP was administered by the USDA Farm Service Agency. It provides assistance to agricultural producers whose operations were directly affected by the pandemic. The PPP loan amount each farm business could receive depended on their income and employment costs, while CFAP payments based on commodity prices, previous sales, acres, and or inventory. USDA Economic Research Service researchers compared the total amount of PPP loans plus CFAP payments received in each state in 2020 to its 2019 value of production. Now, the estimates of last year's value of production not yet available, but California received the most aid, $3.1 billion in PPP and CFAP. Iowa was second at $2.4 billion. More news at agview.net. Stay with us.